Right now, my patients and their families are struggling at their pharmacies, choosing between paying for their prescriptions or their groceries. They are not alone. Over one in five patients cannot afford the medications prescribed by their healthcare providers. My patients struggle, while big pharma corporations hike up drug prices year after year and make skyrocketing profits. Let's fight back. Senator Bernie Sanders and Representative Ro Khanna have legislation called Prescription Drug Price Relief Act. This policy would stop price gouging by stripping pharmaceutical corporations of their monopoly powers if they refuse to lower prices on prescriptions. To show you how this policy works, let's use Advair as an example. As a pediatrician, I frequently prescribe this inhaler for my asthmatic patients. Under the Prescription Drug Price Relief Act, the Department of Health and Human Services would compare the United States' excessively priced brand name drugs with the prices of those same drugs in five wealthy countries, Canada, France, Germany, Japan, and the United Kingdom. In 2015, the median cost or middle price for a month's supply of Advair in these five countries was $47. In the good old US of A, it costs $154.80, and that's after discounts. This price gouging by Big Pharma is literally making it harder for my patients to breathe. Based on this price information, the Prescription Drug Price Relief Act would dictate to GlaxoSmithKline, the makers of Advair, that the maximum price that they could charge would be $47, the median in the other wealthy countries. If GSK refused to lower the price, then the US government would issue competitive licenses to any company that wanted to produce a generic version of Advair and sell it at or below $47. Many public health experts anticipate that under the Prescription Drug Price Relief Act, a big pharmaceutical corporation like GlaxoSmithKline would choose to drop the price of drugs like Advair instead of losing their patents and sales to a generic drug company. Getting prescriptions filled should not be another challenge for my patients and their families who are already struggling with asthma, diabetes, depression, cancer, and many other illnesses. Prescription Drug Price Relief Act would provide some overdue peace of mind because it puts patients before profits. It's up to us, the ordinary people struggling in an unjust health system, to put pressure on all of our elected officials to pass policies like the Prescription Drug Price Relief Act. Illness and disease do not care if you are a Republican or Democrat. All of us have a human right to health care and accessible prescriptions regardless of what we look like, where we we live or how we vote. Together, we can push legislators to put patients before politics and profits.